Hello. I made a simple video to demonstrate that grounding is real a few days ago. I had an enormous response, but the one thing that people were slightly upset about me is uh, two things. I didn't mention the units that I had on the multimeter, and they were in DC microvolts. And the other one, a lot of people said, well, you know, you've demonstrated that it's real, but could you explain grounding or earthing? Earthing is a bit of a strange word. Obviously, it means sticking your feet in the dirt. The only real downside, depending on where you live at, of course, uh, to earthing or grounding is uh, there's certain worms or parasites that could actually travel transdermally from the dirt through the bottom of your feet, and you could end up with an issue, but pretty rare, but still, or you could step on some broken glass. Or, uh, yeah, and to uh, tetanus, step on a rusty nail. So there's the dangers of, <laughs> I actually go barefoot all the time in the house. I'm not grounded in the house, obviously, so, but when I'm out at uh, the cabin and walking around in the backyard, I am. So I do it a lot more than uh, most people do. There are specific devices that you can actually insert into your shoes that go to a copper plate or mesh on the bottom of your foot and go not towards your heel, but towards the ball or the front end of your foot. Also, too, they make devices that slip on to flip-flops, or as the Aussies call them, thongs. I use sandals that let you walk around with rubber insulated, you know, sandals or flip flops or and let you ground yourself. You can actually buy copper plating and actually bend yourself up a grounding plate and attaching it is not that difficult. You could even use like two ton epoxy or um, actually industrial duct tape to adhere it to the the interior of uh, uh, the the sandal and also too to the base so there's a lot of ways to do that really simple piece of copper plating like 18 gauge is pretty simple so to talk about grounding before getting into the discussion of grounding make a blatant statement of all the people over the years that wanted me to talk about earthing or grounding is hey, it's just bobby car it's ridiculous that's just new age nonsense well as a former ham radio operator ham radio is mostly dead someone knows an enormous amount of uh, information about field theory. Grounding is real. There's not a single ham radio operator or TV station or AM radio station or e even FM radio station on earth that will dispute the monumental titanic importance of a grounding system. The human body is nothing other than a biomechanical system. I like to talk about two forms of charge inductance regarding the human body and, you know, where this charge is coming from, why does it need to be dissipated. Very, very simple. So human body obviously is an electrostatic system with two sources of capacitance buildup. So the human body is kind of like a battery. Well, say a battery and say capacitance is like talking about ice versus water. Really, you're talking about the same thing, of course. Anyway, we actually have a standing wave uh, ratio issue or an SWR issue. Go look up SWR if you'd like. Represents the power in the transmission line. Of course, the human body is on a transmission line. Really, it is. Of course, we have a nervous system, which is basically endless miles of transmission line in the human body. as a biomechanical system and of transmission, which is not electrical. People think it's electrical. It's actually electrostatic or dielectric. Um, so anyway, in SWR, uh, the transmission line is not being accepted. So you have a poor SWR ratio on your transmission line, your coax. And I have uh, deep pounded copper lines that are outside the front and back of my house where I actually had uh, uh, radio systems uh, grounded and uh, coax systems that are the feed lines to the antennas are grounded. Uh, anyway, the SWR ratio was the unwanted... Uh, EMR, electromagnetic radiation, uh, waves that are reflected along the line uh, affecting its transmission. Anybody that's seen any handheld portable radio usually has a lug on the back for grounding. It's like, why do you need to ground it? There's already an antenna there. It runs off of batteries. It's because it eliminates... Everything is about signal to noise separation. You know when someone is drunk or has an issue or they're like mentally ill or something like that? That is a human body, which is kind of like a radio. Once again, the radio analogy, you have a signal-to-noise ratio, or people that are hear hearing multiple voices in their head. Some of those quite 
certain what percentage is, I don't know, are sure to be real. Undeniably so, but that, of course, is a matter for another discussion. So you're eliminating out the noise from the signal to have proper health, of course, is to have, and I know I'm out of shape, and I'm not healthy. It's like, oh, here's a guy that's out of shape talking about health. Someone's going to say that, so I had to drop that in there. Anyway, these unwanted uh, EMR uh, energy reflections along the line affects the transmission and efficiency and thereby reduces the power that finally gets transmitted. And not only this, that's the statement is partially incorrect. It only reduces the power uh, due to the impedance of the system. And a body that's in poor health has an impedance issue. It's just a different type of impedance. It not only affects the transmission, it also affects... Um, the quality of the transmission and the signal itself. In the case of a living signal or a living system, we're talking about essentially the same thing. Uh, standing waves are, i.e., of course, there's no such thing as a wave. It's energy uh, waves that are actually in the system because it's not grounded. Uh, are created when the transmission line doesn't terminate correctly. This, uh, the short of it is, is the SWR, the standing wave ratio issue, due to lack of grounding causes a buildup in the system that causes bad transmission and bad communication. And, of course, we're talking about sentient communication. And also, too, as far as our mental health and clarity, you know what mental clarity? It's extremely strong signal over noise issue. You know, like when you're in class and you've got all sorts of misfits and fools in the back of the class that are, like, throwing spit wads and talking and jabbering about nonsense? That's noise, right? You can't concentrate on what the teacher is talking about. It's a signal to the noise issue. The human body, of course, is exactly like this. So I am not at all interested in New Age hokum or poppycock like that. I'm interested in what's logical and rational. And so grounding, i.e. earthing, is very real. I'd like to talk about this in just a little bit more detail, obviously. So, um, so the SWR, the standing wave ratio issue, leads to SNR issues, which is signal to noise, uh, SNR signal to noise ratio issues. So how and why grounding works. Um, oh, by the way, did you hear that uh, the new study that came out that half, this is also too a reason why we have communication issues in the body, why everybody is kind of nutty and crazy today. You know it as well as I do. Half the U.S. tap water turns out is uh, in the United States this is the USGS study, is laced with hormone-wrecking, what are they called, forever chemicals, or PFAS. That was the new study that came out. That's actually in line with what I'm discussing in this video, peripherally, but not uh, super directly. Um, line charge, and the human body, of course, is a system, and it has a line charge issue. I showed you in the video outside on the grounding or earthing, what that actually does, it reduces... Uh, there's good charge and there's bad charge. Of course, energy is good, but, I mean, bad energy is bad. That's not the energy that you actually want built up in the human system. This is a reason why we have evolved over, I, I don't care if you say a thousand years, a hundred million years. I don't really care what sort of religious belief anybody has, but human beings have adapted to have our systems grounded. Now, all of a sudden, we're, everybody's wearing rubber-soled shoes or slippers or flip-flops of some variety and they have a buildup in their system, which is SNR issue, a signal-to-noise ratio. As a ham radio operator, I can tell you you have the best radio, the best antenna, and super thick shielded RG8 coax, but unless the system is grounded, you got serious noise on the line. You listen to the same signal strength from the same transmission uh, power output from Joe Blow that you got tuned into at however many megahertz or... Um, yeah, like an HF rig or UHF or VHF. And uh, by removing the ground, I mean, static will increase. The signal uh, magnitude that you're receiving at the amplifier that gets dropped to uh, the speaker that you're listening to will drop drastically, even though everything has remained the same. Uh, so line charge. Um, it's both environmental and self-induced. So you actually have two sources, every human being, on Earth has two sources of uh, line charge, i.e. Right? self-inductance or environmental inductance. Bodily inductance charges, there's many uh, reasons for this. Food digestion actually creates charge. Um, our nervous system creates an enormous amount. Our heart creates an enormous amount. That's not my opinion. That's a palpable fact. There have been countless studies 
on the type of heart uh, charge that uh, is distributed in the system of the heart muscle itself, which is a really powerful, tough muscle. It needs to be powerful and tough in the body. Muscles from exercise and just daily activities. Everything that moves and blinks and twitches in the body, especially the heart, the brain, the nervous system, essentially everything. Food digestion creates a charge. That is line impedance. Okay, now the human body is not a line. There's no difference between the human system and a coax line or an antenna line. It has to be grounded. You have an impedance buildup, so you actually have an SWR, a standing wave ratio issue, of the natural system and how it should correctly operate versus uh, this impedance, uh, whether it be internal or external, what, or what would technically be in the human body, body uh, bodily inductance or environmental inductance. Um, secondly, on to environmental inductance. Uh, oh my God, there's so many sources. The EMF from radio phone, uh, from radio uh, cellular, uh, 5G antennas. Uh, there's actually quite a bit that actually comes from uh, solar inductance, from just normal light. Any light inside the house or sunlight itself. Uh, it's not an issue. I mean, once you, you know, you lay out in the sun. I was laying out in the sun earlier today. I was barefoot. You know, I stepped off uh, the hammock and planted my feet in the ground. I mean, I've always done that. It's not that I was really caring a whole lot about grounding myself, but I mean, you actually have a charge inductive. I mean, the human body, at a certain level, which of course generates uh, um, vitamin D and other health benefits, uh, gives you a type of euphoria, you know, laying in the sun, it also builds up a charge in the system. The human body, very, very slightly, is a kind of solar panel. It is. So you have a charge buildup, and you don't want unnecessary inductance causing an impedance issue in the human body. To what percentage of human ailments can this be attributed to? That I don't know, but I know it's substantial. I will not even begin to speculate. One person in comments that she cured her brother's gout by grounding, or what people now are calling earthing. Kind of a really crazy word. Just human body system grounding. No different than a ham radio, HF, UHF, or VHF rig grounding, antenna grounding. No one on earth, once again, has ever denied the absolute importance of grounding in HF, UHF. Every cell phone tower out there, a repeater, cellular repeater, 5G or otherwise, has a huge grounding cable. Why? Because it makes a huge difference in the clarity of transception of signal. What makes you think the human body is any difference? Of course grounding is real. So we have bodily induction and environmental induction. The body, of course, is a capacitor. You know, it runs on food, obviously so. It's a type of uh, food-based uh, uh, capacitor, and uh, there's unwanted charge. Energy's good. You know, it's like, oh, man, I'm full of energy. You know, pep and vigor to do your chores or whatever it may be. That, you know, that's good, and, but there is bad forms of energy. On a transmission system, on a uh, HF radio rig, for example, it's good to have good power when the power goes out. Um, you know, during a lightning storm or something, I've got battery backup to feed the HF rig so you can communicate with people. That's good power. The pow bad power is when you have unnecessary inductance and impedance issues in the system because it's not grounded. Like, what's wrong? I get the uh, uh, novice ham radio operators would have this issue. It's like, oh, I got the best radio, the best antenna, the best amplifier <clears throat> that money can buy. It's like, yeah, is it grounded? No, why do I need to ground it? Like, you're kidding me, right? Actually, you get a ham license. You actually have to study about the importance of grounding, but there have been ham radio operators. Like, I don't need to ground it. I'm just driving a copper rod in the ground. Why do I need to do that? I got the best radio money can buy. So the body is capacitor. It runs on food. And battery, capacitor, distinction, hardly without a difference. Energy is great, but of course, you never want charge on the line. So, without grounding, there is noise in the system of the body. This, of course, is the inherent impedance of the system, um, which affects our DNA, our nervous system, our tissues, our brain, especially in our consciousness. You know as well as I do, most people these days are never grounded. Undeniable fact. Most people these days are com consuming trash. Undeniable fact. Most people these days are bombarded. If people could actually see all the billions of frequencies that are passing through their body every microsecond, 
I mean, it would it would make people, you know, bend over and barf. It would shock you so much. Uh, from cellular, radio, AM, FM, uh, uh, satellite, absolutely unbelievable amounts of EMF passing through every person's body. You have to go to like a deep cave somewhere in Tibet or Nepal to get away from basically all of it. And even then you're still getting bombarded with some of it. So, Without grounding there's just noise in the system. The body is the system. That's the impedance of the gain of the system and the SNR. Everything is signal over noise. It affects our DNA, our nervous system, our tissues, our brain. So. This grounding, or earthing as you call it, actually isolates the human bodily system from electrostatic buildup and SNR issues. SNR of our DNA, our brain, our consciousness, our nervous system, our tissues. But very importantly, since water is the antenna of life, that's an issue too. So grounding today is way, way, way more important than it was, say, like 120 years ago when we weren't, everybody wasn't uh, bombarded with 10 billion frequencies, but it comes from many different places, you know, food, solar, comes from a lot of different places. So, yes, grounding is real. Yes, earthing is 100% real and undeniable. And this is the explanation and the actual physics and field theory behind earthing and grounding. If you ever want to contact me, my information is in the description below. Um, any donation is warmly welcome. I know everybody has issues these days. Like my donations have fallen off by like 98%. So, uh, you know, there's nothing I could do about that, but I could always, you know, warmly ask for any donation. Nobody has to do any donation, but I certainly would greatly appreciate it. Even if it were a dollar, that would be incredibly important, um, to be honest with you. But let me know if you have any questions. I read every comment. I hope you all have a lovely week. And uh, I'm going to go cut up some watermelon and eat a grapefruit. And uh, then I'm going to roll my eyes into the back of my head and have uh, some deep thoughts about an important article, actually a booklet that I'm writing for you all. It's one article within the booklet on retroduction. So thanks for watching. Have a lovely week. Lux Severitas.